Hi, boys and girls. So we're finishing up our study on penguins. So I'm going to read one more nonfiction book about penguins so we can learn a few more facts. And then we're going to write some sentences about penguins using our can have our chart from yesterday. So this is penguins. Penguins are flightless birds. They live on land and in the ocean. So flightless means they do not fly. They spend as much time in the ocean as they do on land. Most penguins live around Antarctica. So Antarctica is a continent and it's uh, down at the bottom of the earth. <laughs> Some penguins live on warm islands and that would be the penguins that live near Australia and New Zealand. A penguin's body is like an egg. Penguins have two wings and webbed feet. But remember, their wings are really flippers, flippers. Penguins move their wings and webbed feet to swim. Penguins cannot breathe underwater. They must swim to the surface for air. So that means they can't swim underneath the water. They have to come up to breathe. Penguins have beaks, or like we learned the other day, they could be called a bill also. And they use their beaks to catch food. Penguins hunt for food in the ocean. They eat small fish, squid, and krill. Krill are tiny shrimp. Some animals hunt penguins. The colors of a penguin's feather help them hide from predators. So this sea lion is a uh, predator of penguins. Black feathers make the penguins hard to spot for predators flying above them. So if the predators are swimming up here, then they can't really see the penguins because the white bellies are facing down and the black backs are the only thing showing on them. So the white feathers make penguins hard to see for pre predators swimming below them. Hmm. So underneath they see the white, on top they see the black. Penguins can leap out of the water and onto land. They just hop right up. The rock hoppers are the best at doing that. Penguins stand upright on land. They move with short steps or hops. And that's why they look like they're waddling. <laughs> Penguins also travel by tobogganing. Penguins toboggan by sliding over their ice on their stomach. So boys and girls, a toboggan is like a sled. So they are sliding just like you would slide down a, a snowy hill on a sled. They just slide down right on their bellies. Their belly is their sled. Some penguins stand together to keep warm. And we learned about this the other day. It's called huddling when they stand close together. Penguins work and play in groups. They are friendly and social birds. That means they work together to help each other and they also they take care of each other's babies. All right, here's the glossary. Antarctica is a large island covered with ice at the South Pole. Some penguins live on Antarctica. A flightless bird is a kind of bird that cannot fly. Krill is small shrimp-like animal. Krill are one main source of food for penguins. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food. Sea lions, sharks, birds, and orcas are all predators who hunt penguins. Social means living together with others in a group. Tobogganing is the way penguins travel and play by sliding across the ice on their stomachs. 
and webbed feet are feet with toes connected by skin. Okay, boys and girls, so I'm going to take you to my classroom. And what your assignment is today is this penguin writing paper. So you can use the can have our sheet that you used yesterday to help you build sentences. So you would start by saying penguins, the word penguins. Penguins can, and then tell me something penguins can do. They can swim, waddle, slide, or huddle. Penguins have, penguins have flippers, feathers, web feet, or a bill slash beak. Penguins are birds, swimmers, black and white, big and small. So you can also use connecting words like they and and to help you build longer sentences. You could write penguins can swim. They have flippers and feathers. Penguins are birds and they are swimmers. So longer sentences is always better, like Mrs. Bavona is teaching you to expand your sentences by using adjectives and more details. And that's what I would like to see with your science writing today. I want at least three sentences, one that says what penguins can do, one that says what penguins have, and one with, that tells what penguins are. If you would like to write more than three sentences, I give you a two thumbs up and I bet your teacher will too. Have a great day, boys and girls. Have a wonderful weekend.